guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today planning in my mini happy planner for the week of November 25th through December 1st. Um, this week is Thanksgiving here in the States and I kind of want to do something that is Thanksgiving-y but I was a little stumped. Um, see, I use this planner as an on-the-go planner so I keep track of any of the places that I need to go and shopping lists that I know what I need to pick up when I'm out places. So the thing that kind of had me stumped is I normally do not like to cover up when there's like a quote or something on my pages, but it's really cute. I love the glasses. It's actually the original cover for this mini. This is the bright side mini, but that is not thanksgiving -y at all. So I am going to cover it up. Um, I did a wrong, wrong spread last week, so I kind of want to do something different. So I'm actually going to go with squad goals and I don't know why, but I had all these little sheets. That doesn't really go. Not quite that one. Um, but yeah, I had these sheets from other kits that I've used sitting on my desk. I don't know when I took them out, but I took them out. So yeah, there we are. I saw a really thanksgiving e. That one also does not quite go. So, oh, that's the other page of the first one. So these were pretty cute planner kits. Um, that's where they came from. So we had three of them pulled out. And then just a page of checklists from a joyful planner kit. So I'm actually looking at this brown chevrony pattern to cover up the adorable glasses that I feel terrible covering but like I said it's just not gonna go um and then what we'll do is we're going to stick this one I'm just going to put it here because I just kind of feel like it um, no rhyme or reason, just making things happen right now. So for lists, I, I don't know, I could use the, um, the big check boxes I was showing you, but I kind of saw these and was thinking about using them, um, just because I don't really have any other boxes. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So we're going to stick this Erin's sticker layered over here. And we're going to go with, I'm gonna actually stick this to buy. I think I'll stick it over here actually. I was gonna put it on Friday because Friday's Black Friday, but I don't think I'll do that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to stick the remember over here. All right, well, this is looking cute. That's a little crooked, but that's okay. Um, and then, let's see, I have things to mark off. So we're going to use these little flags and I'm gonna struggle. So let me get a pen, maybe that'll work, I don't know. So we've got those down. Now for Thanksgiving, there is a Be Thankful banner in here that I think I want to use, but I do because I was flipping through the wrong, wrong sticker book. There's, what is the, okay, so here's what the Thanksgiving one looks like for the mini. So the classic one was actually more vertical. This one is, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use them both. I feel like that might be a little extra. I don't know. Well, I have other things that I can mark off because Tuesday, here we go. Um, Tuesday is a conference. Okay, well, I don't need to buy. I could use the remember. So really all I have is remember and all the things. Oh, and then there's also a notes down here. Okay, so. You can go with those. 
remember. Okay, so the remember will be for the conference and I'm going to stick it going into the full box that I laid down just so I can get some layering going on. I like layering. So that is going to be to mark off my son's conference and do I want to have this going out? No, I'm going to keep it within the lines of the page. This is for my son um, doing like a sort of volunteering at the library. So that's really cute. Oh, I have some boxes over here too. I guess I could have used them. Um, I'm sorry. What else? I need to put down. All right, really, that's it for our plans. And like the fall section is pretty well picked through. So I have a couple of full boxes from here. I just didn't want to use the girls. Like it's fall, y'all. That didn't really scream Thanksgiving to me. This sheet is completely finished. I have some washi strips on here, those boxes, and some headers, but I've used up all the flags. This is another sheet that's completely finished. This one, I've only used one sticker off of it, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think we are gonna use the, if I can get it. Yeah, we'll use the Be Thankful, and then I think I might just hand letter that it is Thanksgiving. We've used all of these boxes now, a lot of the flags. We have some florals. I don't know if the, I was, kind of considering the florals, but I don't know if they would actually go at this point. So I'm kind of shying away from them, to be honest. We're gonna get out the undo. Um, it's gonna just make it easier for me to place this sticker if it's still wet from undo and the page is still wet from the undo. I was trying to get it down and I was just having too hard of a time. So we'll just use some undo. I get, and I try to mention this every time I use undo in a video because I never know whose first time it is watching my videos and that you might not know. So undo, is something that I get at Michael's. It's not quite centered. And so because it's from Michael's, use a coupon on it. And um, you drizzle it on your sticker. That's not straight. You drizzle it on your sticker and that scooper actually comes with it. All right. Last time, so charm. Oh my gosh, I can't get this. It's like, uh, use a little bit more. Um, yeah, but it allows you to pick your sticker back up. You can reposition it. You can put it back where you got it. So if you're like, if you like completely change your mind and you're just like, nope, um, you can do that too. This is still not okay. I think I'm a little more pleased with it. That's going to bubble up there. Okay. Um, yeah, so use a coupon, get it from Michael's. Um, I'm sure Amazon has it too. That'll do, pig. Um, but yeah, uh, this bottle has lasted me about two years, and I still have like that much left of it. So I'm going to need to get a new one, but I'm not really in a rush. Yeah, I think that's just going to do it for this spread. I don't really have a whole lot of other things that I can add in that I feel like it would go. Oh, just got sticker books all over the place right now. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I think, I think it'll work. I mean, it'll work. It's functional, and that's usually what these spreads end up being. Um, I, like I said, I was considering bringing in these florals. I just don't think that they're going to go at this point. Although... All right, so this is the Paige Evans sticker, books, sticker book from American Crafts. And I just started flipping through it, trying to see if I could find something. And there is this quote that it's a clear sticker. It says, eat dessert first. And like, honestly, could there be a more perfect 
spread to use it for than Thanksgiving. Now I'm not going to put it on Thanksgiving, but I've got all this space over here. So this is where I'm going to stick it over here on Saturday, just so that I have something over here. Um, that wasn't what I thought I was going to get. There are florals in here and some other cute things. Um, that fox was adorable, but I think he's just a little too big for me to pull in. Um, I always forget that I have this sticker book. It's funny because like I originally bought it because I got like September vibes when I was flipping through it. And I mean, I still do. Oh, here's another eat dessert first. But that pink definitely wouldn't go. I'm, I'm happy with the one that I picked. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, I got like September vibes from this. And I, some of these colors look good. I don't know if there's any quotes, nothing that caught my eye from a super quick glance. So I'm gonna keep on moving, keep on flipping. But yeah, I think I only used this once in September. Cause like, it kind of feels like transitional to me. You know, like it's, not quite summer anymore, but not quite fall yet was the feeling that I got. Yeah, and look at these. I think they might actually go. Would it be too much? Am I being too extra? I don't know. I mean, like, can, can you ever be too extra? Once you're extra, can you be, like, any more than that? I don't think you can. Oh, those are cute. The little birds in the birdhouses. This kind of reminds me of, like, a springish, like, before it actually... Is spring like a false spring what is on here oh wait a second there were some like monthly and seasonally specific things but I did not see anything that caught my eye really I don't know oh that is cute I do like that and that does match actually that kind of makes me want to wait and not bring in those florals yeah I think I'm just gonna leave it I think it works out just fine. It doesn't have to be super pretty or anything. Like I said, it is meant to be functional. And this gives me more space in case I end up needing more than nine things. Um, you know, I've got errands, remember, to buy. Those are my, like, shopping lists. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Um, if you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live so you don't miss them. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I am at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.